Are you getting ready to dive for treasure? Looks like I beat you to it. Sam, we already have everything that's immediately retrievable. I saw signs and more treasure down yes, there. Yes, but it's underneath Nicholas's freighter. Yes, I know. It's small. I can fit through tight spaces. Sam, the water is way too cold. There's no way you can stay down that long with the equipment that we have, okay? We need better equipment. That's going to take time. I don't have that, Jax. Why not? Nicholas doesn't know that he's freighter landed on top of a sunken treasure. Nicholas is not the problem. My self-serving, greedy con man of a father is. What are you doing? Oh, miss, I was uh, wondering if I would be expected to polish the furniture. That desk is definitely in need of attention. You know, my nephew Nicholas, his instincts are very good, and I tend to give them a lot of weight. He was suspicious of you five minutes after meeting you. Now I'm thinking, A, he is trying too hard, or B, he's just blatantly snooping. Call 911. It's Sam McCall. We found her collapsed on the shore. Must have been in the water too long. Hey, but is uh, she going to live? I barely feel a pulse. I need a medevac helicopter on Spoon Island. <clears throat> Sam? Sam, wake up. It's Nicholas. It's Emily. Can you hear us? Courage. It's, it's okay. You're safe. Ship. Ship. Courage. What about the courage? Well, Sam, Sam, stay awake. Stay awake. Talk to us. What, what ship? What, what about a ship? Uh, Sam. She's Sam. Right here. Her name is Sam McCall, and uh, we, we found her on shore. I wonder what she was trying to say. How are you feeling? Much better, thanks. Good. You know, maybe you should have let the paramedics take you to the hospital. Uh, really, I don't want to waste anyone's time or anything. Um, I just need to get warmed up, and no offense, tea is not going to cut it. Maybe whiskey, if you have any. Where's the butler, anyway? Um, I don't know. Now that you mentioned it, I haven't seen him for a while. We don't uh, keep whiskey at the bar. We keep it in the kitchen. Look, I really don't want to put anyone out, so don't worry about it. It's okay. That's what butlers are for. Sam, yes. what did you do to yourself? Not as bad as it looks, really. Are you feeling okay? You feeling faint at no, all? No, um... Maybe we should get you to the hospital. No, really, I'm fine. Listen, I, I just, um, I'm a little lightheaded. You know, it's the least I deserve for staying underway too long. You know, when I agreed to let you salvage my freighter, I didn't intend for you to do all the work for yourself. And I, and, and I certainly didn't mean for you to risk your life. Nicholas, I'm a pro. This is what I do. And why are you staring at me? I'm sorry. I was, I was just thinking about something you said when you were in and out of consciousness. Yeah. I said something? Yeah, it, you, you kept talking about courage? Yeah, like courage, like it had something to do with a, a ship, maybe? A ship. Courage. Um, you know what? I think I know what, uh, what that's about. I was, um, I was under really long, and um, I knew I was kind of in trouble because I had a really bad moment down there. And my dad used to have this saying, and he used to say, courage is enough. And um, I just kept saying it over and over in my head, and then I lost consciousness, and I was, hmm. I was out of it. But that doesn't explain the ship. I must have been talking about Nicholas's freighter. Hmm. Well, I'm very impressed by your survival skills. You seem like a very resourceful woman. Sam, there is no need to haul up anything else tonight. They'll still be there tomorrow. I'm not sure. Part of me wants to just go down there and, and get it right away, but I don't know. I keep thinking doing a dive right now could draw some unwanted attention. Will you and... listen to yourself? You almost died. Okay, all you can think about is, is the damn treasure. It's very greedy of you. No, I am not greedy. I am possessive because this is my find. 
After a lifetime of near misses, I finally hit something big. I don't want anyone to take that away from me, especially my father. You know, if I were you, I'd be more worried about Nicholas and Emily. Because they uh, seemed quite curious uh, what you were saying when you were out of it. I think they picked up on the courage. No, I, I covered that with the story of my dear old dad's favorite saying. I don't think they suspect a thing. <laughs> <laughs>